Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to part two of our summer trail camera strategy series. Today, I'm going to present you with four surefire tips that you can use to eliminate 100% of your trail camera's blank fires, your false triggers. If you're anything like me, you absolutely hate walking up on a trail camera you've been soaking all summer, and instead of finding pictures of big velvet clad bucks, you see that your camera's SD card filled up a week after you set it out with blank pictures. However, I'm here to tell you that can change. So go ahead, hit that like button, stick around, and let's get, get, get into it. Okay guys, before we dive in, let's review the technology behind your trail camera. Inside of your camera, there is a PIR motion sensor that tells your camera when to capture an image or video. Now, in order to trip this PIR motion sensor though, you have to have two components. First, you have to have infrared radiation. This is essentially heat which is emitted by animals, more so by warm-blooded creatures. And secondly, you have to have motion. So now, you're wondering, if there has to be an animal in front of your trail camera to trigger the sensor, why all the blanks? Well, different camera manufacturers set their PIR motion detectors at different sensitivities. The benefit of a sensitive camera trigger is obviously farther detection range and less deer escaping the lens. The downside? More blank images. Now, why is this? Well, especially in sensitive cameras, the sensors can be fooled by the sun's powerful rays. The sun radiates a lot of infrared light rays, which, in case you didn't know, cause heat. And if there is some brush swaying in front of your camera, the camera will be tricked into triggering, as it detects heat and movement. The problem is worst in the spring and summer, when the sun is out longer and the UV index is at an all-time high for the year. So what's the solution? Well, lucky for you, we've got four proven ways to stop your camera from taking blanks. Number one, pay attention to camera orientation. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. By simply positioning your camera so that it faces north or south, you can likely eliminate 90% or more of your trail camera blank pictures. If the sun rises or sets directly into your camera lens, you can be sure you'll end up with a lot of blanks. Think of your trail camera just like you would yourself. He does not want to be staring at the sun any more than you do. Okay, on to our second tip to eliminate blank photos. Decrease the sensitivity of your camera's PIR sensor. Now, you may say, I can't do that. I'd have to take apart my whole camera. Or, there's no setting for that on my camera. But I'm here to tell you, you can, it's easier than you think. This setting is actually disguised under another name in your camera's menu. This is the detection range setting. Now granted, not all cameras have this setting available, but if yours does, I'd give it a serious thought to turning it down a bit during the summer months. While yes, it is cool to capture pictures of deer 35 yards or so away from your camera, in most situations, your camera should be hung so that the deer are coming much closer than that. When your camera is set at a super far detection range, it has extremely high sensitivity to heat and movement. If you tune it down a bit lower, your camera will capture virtually no blanks whatsoever. Obviously, there is compromise involved here, but if you ask me, an SD card full of deer pictures is a whole lot better than an SD card full of blanks. Now, moving on to tip number three, place your cameras in shady areas. If for some reason you can't place your cameras to face north or south, and maybe your detection range is not adjustable, or you just want the maximum detection range possible, at the very least, place your cameras in the shade. Nothing leads to more blank photos than hanging your trail cameras on T-posts in the middle of a CRP field. That is a recipe for disaster. They will roast. Make sure there's adequate shade over your cameras. Sometimes, simply moving your cameras three trees over so that it sits under a thicker canopy can protect your valuable intel. Now, tip number four, clear the brush around your camera. As I mentioned, it takes heat and movement to set off a camera. Eliminate one of those variables and your camera won't take any pictures. The previous three tips have focused on eliminating the unnecessary heat out of the equation. However, this last one focuses on the movement. 
Take in a little machete or handsaw and simply cut back all the thorns and thistles and branches and grass and, and whatever else could get in front of your camera's lens and result in a card full of false triggers. Well guys, there you have it. Four tips that are guaranteed to all but eliminate your camera's false triggers. If you utilize these tips, you will save yourself major, major headaches this summer and will get your intel that you need to get your buck down on opening weekend. As always, we'd love it if you hit that like button, drop questions or comments below, and subscribe for more consistent content that will revolutionize your hunting strategy. And if you want to reach out to us more personally, feel free to email thevineoutdoors at gmail.com. That's thevineoutdoors at gmail.com. Whether you have questions about our hunting and trail camera strategy, or requests for future videos, or even just some awesome photos of velvet-clad bucks this summer, feel free to send them our way. So now that you know how to make sure your cameras stay in business all summer long, you might wanna go ahead and check out our video detailing the ultimate public land summer trail camera strategy. The proven public land trail camera strategy I offer in this video will be guaranteed to double, triple, even quadruple your inflow of big buck photos this summer. So make sure and give it a watch. Anyways, that's enough for now. Thank you guys, God bless, click the video.